What's up guys, back with day two of our Car Week 2019 trip. And this day was pretty fun because we started off by going to Mercedes in Pebble Beach. And we just found out a couple years ago that they do test drives if you're over 21 and have a license. You can test drive any of their new AMGs. And I chose the AMG GTC. They also had a GTR, but there was a longer wait for that. So GTC's almost at that point. Still fun, still fast, bucket seats, you know, the whole deal. So that was really fun. I didn't take my camera in there, um, but you'll get some before and after shots. But let's get into it. Right. Get some shots real quick. There you go. Right on. Super fun to drive. Special shout out to MJ. For yeah. Hey, do you know what time you did guys that. start tomorrow? Um, same thing. Nine. Nine. Same time. Right. Yeah, we'll be here. Yeah, if you guys are here early, man, we'll get, to get you get you out some more. Oh, that's you. Okay. All right. <laughs> so 9 a.m. Yeah, that's what I thought. I like how they like smoked the tail lights on these. Cause oh, ours, are, ours are full red. That's crazy. And you guys have a GTC? We have two GTRs and a GTC. Wow. Yeah. 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 Oh man, I've raced this car so much in Gran Turismo. Like it's so crazy to see it in person. Got all the colors. I like that brilliant blue. Our GTR is that color. It's funny you say that. Dude, I would love to drive that thing. Come through. I got you. You know I would. I know you would. And then our GTC is this color. Our GTC and GLC are that color. The all-electric performance car scene has really blown up. Like, look at these two. Like everyone's trying to get on that electric performance hype, you know. Two electric motors. You have one uh, on the rear, one on the front. It provides torque vectoring to all four tires. All four wheels can be done. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ooh, ooh, some Pagani spotted. Ooh, and a P1 GTR. Ooh, that's that's what I was going for. I actually saw these cars as I was I was doing my test drive with the AMG, so we had to come walk over and check them out after. This matte black Pagani Roadster, wow, that's beautiful. Out of those cars, I would definitely would have picked that.
Remember yesterday when I was talking about how many pistas we saw? Look, there's four right here. down to Carmel. As you see, it's a windy day. As my hair is all over the place. And we've seen some good things so far, but hopefully more will turn up. False. You're the one who wanted to come here, so it's on you. So what? Dude, we were just trying to get coffee, bro. Well, then get coffee. What? We will. Well then, do it. <laughs> do it up. Right. Let's head that way. Is that a cute? Oh my God, they're doggos. Dog vlog. Pepper vlog. That's your kind of dog, too, Betty. Right there. She's a poodle Pomeranian. Send it. Okay, girls. Okay, just What's her name? What's her name? Coco. What's your name? Coco. 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 Coco.
You see what his license plate was? No. It was, I don't know how they spelled it, but Carpe Diem. Carpe Diem. And I said that this morning. No, you didn't know what I meant. Seize the day. Exactly. We speak Latin. Ooh, two RS. Boo. And chalk. Uh, Scubaru. Trash. Any ideas? All right, anyone out there know what year the studs Any are? Any ideas on what year this is and what car it is? I will give you one guess, and if you get it right, we'll give you nothing. You get nothing. You get nothing. watched a cop pull over a Huracan that was too low, we're thinking, because he's measuring wheel gap. And in the short joke car behind us. The description doesn't fit if not a synonym or menace, then forget it and turn these critics and it turns it many Shit spit it, just burn like six furnaces, rid it up, fix, learning digits and simultaneously dispelling one trick pony miss, isn't he? One adolescent fucking six nigga energy and crawling down facts like a rich nigga centipede. Cracks a rabbit, okay. and slap a hand out of cash account, stamp it, shout and crash and these niggas don't let the cracking out. Crack a lacking like snap, crackle, pop a yam off, hide your face, throw your flannels off, sweatshirt, nigga. Wow, that blue accent looks amazing. With the Senna sticker. So then our boy Trevor got us the hookup at the Pininfarina house and we got to go see their new Batista, which was pretty sick. The white Batista came from the quail, but the blue one was already there and it's not a full working one. It has no interior, no engine, just an exterior body and such. And then they showed us their new concept car um, at least a model of it and kind of what they're trying to achieve with it. Um, it. They said it was under embargo and we couldn't uh, have cameras in there. So I don't want to mention anything about it, but it's called the Pure Vision. Life is good, who's asking? Roll my number down on too many napkins. Got tired of, we'll see what happens. Lights, camera, she about that action. Which is good when I'm stagnant Stuck to the mattress Stuck like a magnet Life is good but it's taxing Discourse distractions Disco tech mathematics Gave for my number after dancing Life is good, who's asking? You are not entitled to my time or my passion so then we ventured inside the house and saw a model of the Batista. They also had a bunch of Remock parts laying around because it's an all electric car. It's a 1900 horsepower all electric car. So they're using all of Remock's um, electric motors and electric drivetrains. And then you can just see the beautiful view from this house, this multi, multi million dollar home in Pebble Beach, 17 mile drive. So that was pretty wild. We just went over to the Pinaferina house, thanks to Trevor. Me. That was pretty sick, got the sick hats. It's a gift. Got to see the Batista, that was pretty dope. So we're heading back to Carmel to see what's popping off around here. And hopefully we'll find out where some huevos are. Huevos. Huevos.
crowds on crowds. So then we heard about a bunch of Paganis and a couple eggs that were sitting in the valet parking lot of a steakhouse in Monterey. So we went over there to check them out. I'll show you a little bit of footage, but it was pretty dark. So I'm going to throw up some of the best pictures I got because I set up my camera on the tripod and got some long exposures and they came out pretty nice. So enjoy. <laughs> Plates. All right, so that wraps up day two. Day three, Saturday, was Exotics on Broadway. So they moved it from Cannery Row to Broadway because it was too packed, and it was still too packed. And you'll see what I mean. Yeah, but stay tuned for day three coming up. Hopefully, I'll have that out soon. But uh, keep it real, guys. Peace. Peace.